Ready for our duel? All right, let the duel begin. the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, so you'll be unable to view their intent. <laughs> are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Muza! This will be interesting. Let's go. Absorption test. 
but my research has failed. <sighs> Darn. I didn't factor that into the equation. This will be interesting. Freeze! Let's finish this, swiftly. Yes. I want to help. Absorption test. Where did I go wrong? when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body... That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square, I know that. 
I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Uh, you lost me at alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius and vocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good! Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the Cat's Tale. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. All right. I think you should have all the basics down by now. I need to get back to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. Hm. Huh. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go bother Shuyun! I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> That's right! The Travelers, Sucrose, and Paimon are TCG players now! Uh... Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. Oh, sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. It's just a tabletop card game. I'm not sure how you would plan on achieving something like that. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. So, you have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Same way you can hear what Prince says? A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand. The Traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. <coughs> but first things first, Shuyen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Ah, oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. Oh, Timaeus mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tones is actually real? <sighs> well, 
Actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a Casket of Tomes with them. Oh, Paimon can guess what you're going to say next. The reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside. That would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games? No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. Darn! What a letdown. Alright, now let's see this casket of tomes already! Well... All caskets of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. But even for the Traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the final contestant she must beat in order to become an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Ah, I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> A very useful tool indeed. So this is a casket of tomes. That's right. A purpose-built case for your card deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. True. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case, I'll go find some people to play against too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. Thanks. I'll do my best. I'm sorry, is there anything I can assist the two of you with? We want to become official Genius Invocation TCG players! But we have to pass the test first, so we need to beat three players in a duel. Our casket of tomes led us to you! Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. I see you're serious about this. Very well. As a fellow TCG player, I cannot refuse an earnest invitation to duel. <sighs> so be it. 
Then let the duel begin. Ready when you are. Let's finish this, swiftly. Gosh, I lost. You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. Let's play again when you have some time. But ideally, not when I'm on duty. We did it! Now we have two victories under our belt. Let's get back to the cat's tale. Paimon wonders who Prince is gonna pick as our final contestant. Haven't you heard? There's a strange I sensed that she had what it took to become an official TCG player, but she has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. Well. Defeat the opponents I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Not just Prince. I can't wait either. 
Come, your opponent is waiting for you in one of the private rooms. She won't lose to them, whoever it is. Right, Traveler? What ho, fellow voyager of the Stellar Void. Yes, even I was briefly discountenanced when I heard the tidings of your sworn oath to become the thrice victorious. But so be it. You who are enslaved by dueling desire, be released from your shackles into the glorious arena of gladiatorial combat. Step forth, O oh brave challenger. Your princessin grants you an audience. Hmm. Hearken well. The wretched clock chimes yet again as the declining light of the day grows dimmer still. Pardon my directness, but we have not been waiting that long. I mean, Fräulein could afford to be a little less impatient. Huh? Paimon knows those voices. Your opponent sounds anxious to begin. Do not delay. That's what Prince said. Please enter and enjoy your Genius Invocation TCG Duel. Paimon knew it! It's Fischl and Oz! Who else but the Princessin? For, as the name of this hallowed rite suggests, only when the wisest of heroes is summoned can the Master of Cards hope to be crowned the champion? This path is a treacherous one. It must be tread with great caution, for eternal doom and damnation are but one wrong step away at any given moment. That is why none is more suited to appear in this audience chamber than the Princessin, whose Aug de Ertelong des Grossen Kaleidophantasmus has witnessed 10,000 battles across 3,000 worlds. Oh, is that right? Indeed. Main Fräulein has watched many games of Genius Invocation TCG and has gained a solid grasp of the rules. Even in a duel between beginners, it is best that both participants are well-versed in them. Oh, that's true. Ah, this makes sense now. Prince did say that he was going to pair us with someone of a similar skill level. Guess that means Fischl hasn't been playing that long either. Hmm. The princessin needed but a single glance at these mere machinations of mankind to discern their working principles. Thus, with speed and brilliance paralleled by lightning alone, do I now arrive here at the gateway to yonder circle of secrets. Main Fräulein, too, has bested two opponents thus far, and is therefore one step away from becoming an official TCG player. So there's a lot on the line, huh? Either Fischl or the Traveler is gonna come out of this duel as an official TCG player! Indeed. Oh, the Princessin herself heeds the call of fate and descends to this realm from the Immanachreich. Yet still, you dare to doubt the inevitability of the inevitable. Your stubborn foolishness is contemptible. Main Fräulein, I implore you to consider less odious turns of phrase, lest you be forced to feast on your words in the fullness of time. What? Uh, I shall not lose, Oz! What say you, Outlander? Do you wish to make an enemy of me, the Princess de Ertelung? who even now begins to strum the strings of fate that shall sound out the Traveler's Requiem? Then I say it is time to see what you are made of. This will be interesting.
Dodge this! Let's finish this swiftly. Shop. This is but a small sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory! Ready when you are. Dodge this! Fräulein, I cannot simply attack the Traveler.
Let's finish this swiftly. Dodge this! Don't get frostbite. I'm not done. Dragon looms near once more, casting its dark shadow on the slender threads of fate, hiding them from my vision. Traveler, was even this part of your plan? What a truly ingenious plot, and what an exciting duel to witness. Congratulations, you've won three duels now. That makes you an official TCG player. Oh, Sucrose! You're back! Uh, does that mean... Yep. I've won two games so far. When I got back, I heard you were in the middle of your final duel. So I came over to watch. Nice! Sucrose won two as well! Great work! Hmm. It seems I am forced to admit, fellow Voyager of the Stellar Void, that you're... Mastery of the cards is second to none. To commemorate your glorious ascent to a battlefield beyond this lowly mortal realm, I grant thee an incarnation of my majesty in miniature. As you embark on this ingenious vocation, may you wield it in battle against all your fated foes, that not a single one of them may be left standing. Main Fräulein wishes to give you a Main Fräulein character card. Wow! It's Fischl's character card! 
Tis a mere token of such. To the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. Oh, um, excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner who has won two games so far. Might I also have the honor of joining you in a duel? If you would be willing, of course. Nothing would delight me more. I hereby grant you permission to join me in performing the hallowed rite of genius invocation. One other thing. When I got back, Prince and Shuyun said there was something they needed to give you if you managed to become an official TCG player. No card game in the world has a card like that! Paimon bets it's some kind of prize for making it as an official TCG player! Let's go get our prize! With three electro dice, I summon my eternal familiar, Osvaldo Hrathnavine, to my side. Heed my invocation! But, Main Fräulein, I have been by your side all along. <sighs> I mean in the game, Oz. Hmm. Then, I'll use chaotic entropy to invoke a large wind spirit that deals increased damage when it carries an element other than Animo. So... Oh! So be it! One shall not be swayed by such a feeble attack! Ah, so it was you who won the duel in the end. I knew you'd do it. Congratulations! You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Very well done. Now I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. The first thing all new official TCG players receive is their TCG Player's Handbook. This handbook tells you exactly what you need to do to become a top-tier TCG player. Make sure you read it. Secondly, a range of Genius Invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the Cat's Tale. <laughs> so you see, becoming an official TCG player is really just the first step. <coughs> and thirdly, Whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the invitation board there. Whoever you wish to duel against, simply invite them to the tavern for a game. Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang of it, you can play with your friends whenever you want. That's it, really. If there's anything else you didn't quite understand, you can always come and ask me. <coughs> yes, indeed, I'm quite sure they will. Oh, sorry, I forgot to translate for you. Prince would like to say, Hope you have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. This is your first time seeing me outside of the teapot realm, isn't it? Although the Adepti created teapot spirits primarily to manage and maintain their teapot realms, our movements are not restricted to those domains. For instance, there's Chubby, I'm sorry, Jade Seeker, who travels far and wide to gather the rarest treasures in the land. <sighs> but it is true that I, in contrast, Rarely leave the teapot realm at all. Ah, Paimon gets it now! Huh. Well, since you so rarely leave, what's the occasion today? As curious as I am to know how the drinks here differ from those in Liyue. No, in fact, I was sent here for a reason. What reason is that? Um, and as it happens, it has something to do with the Traveler, too. 
Well, as I'm sure you've discovered, with the rising popularity of Genius Invocation TCG, inviting a friend to a duel in the tavern has become a fun way to pass the time. There's just one little problem. Many invitees currently have to travel an enormous distance to get here, turning the whole thing into quite an ordeal. I have therefore been sent here to create a little game room, using the same Adeptus art as is used to construct teapot realms. That way, anyone with an invitation will need only to think the thought, and they will instantly appear in the game room. You will be free to use the room whenever you wish to invite a friend to duel, and it will be far more straightforward for them to take you up on the offer. Wow! This will make things much easier! But what if Margaret finds out? She's not going to get mad at you for renovating her tavern with your Adeptus Arts, is she? Um, that shouldn't be a problem, since the realm will not be physically located within the cat's tail. Besides, we obviously sought the owner's permission in advance. She was quite enthusiastic. Oh, Li Yue's Adepti Arts sound pretty useful. Could you double the size of the tavern while you're at it? Unfortunately, my mastery of Adeptus Arts is not sufficient to achieve this. Huh. Yeah, that does sound like something Margaret would say. Anyway, it's great that you're here. I was expecting to have to wait until your next visit to the Teapot Realm to fill you in. Right then, let's get started. Okay, that should do it. Over to you. Now you can invite friends to duel with you in this room wherever in the world they are. I hope it serves you well. Oh, and I almost forgot. A guy from the tavern wanted me to say this to you. Hope you will have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG.